good kitten internet. Not that I have a kitten over here right now. I'm actually not sure where Asin's at, other than sleeping. Definitely sleeping. Also, if you hear some extra background noise, uh, don't worry about it. I have the windows open, and there's a rooster that's been crowing since four in the morning. Give you an idea, it's currently 1336. So, yeah. Anyway, let's get back to our game of Sid Meier's Alpha Centauri. Turn complete. Drop my volume a little bit. That rooster's gonna drive me up the wall. I don't know which of my neighbors owns a rooster, but... All oh, Yang's getting better at fighting them. Complete. Actually, that looks like it was more luck than anything. However, we finished the Xeno Empathy Dome, so I guess we're going to be starting out with a secret project. Let's go. This one. I believe Planet will talk to us if we're willing to listen. These fungal stalks behave as multi-state relays. Taken together, the neural net connectivity must be staggering. Can a planet be said to have achieved sentience? Lady Deidre Sky, Arguments in Council. So the video basically just looks like somebody gets very much obsessed with fungus. And I'm pretty sure plot-wise this should be happening before the first pop, but who knows. Um, and yes, plot-wise, it's always Earth Deidre and not anybody else. Um, yeah, we'll we'll get to more of that a bit later on. But anyway, uh, so the Xeno Empathy Dome allows us to finally use fungus as roads for everybody, which is very nice. Um, it also works on C units, although they don't count as roads at that point. It's just that you can move through fungus without a speed penalty. Um, formers can remove and plant fungus. You will notice it is possible to plant fungus. We will, in fact, be doing that at the very end of the game. Um, so that rate's doubled, and all alien life forms we breed get plus one morale. That rooster's going to drive me up the wall. Riots. We have our first drone riot. Right, no, it's not actually our first. Ooh. How do we gain two drones at once? Oh, that's not good. Okay. Um, we've got a problem. So, remember before when we were looking at bases and, um, actually, wait, do we have an in even divisible by? Okay, yes, we hit 12. So we're getting plus one drone for every four population, on top of the fact that every population past population four is a drone. So that means unmodified. We have a total of 12 population, um, eight of which are drones, and then plus three drones, because 12 divided by four is three. And that's for Zach. So that's what we have for just unmodified, which is not good. <laughs> um, we're dealing with some problems here. We probably need to start looking at having another police unit. So first off, let's go ahead and pick that up. You'll notice that we now have empaths instead of just talents for our uh, special citizens. Also, you'll notice that it's plus two econ and not just plus two psych. You can also switch to a thinker, which we don't want to in this case, which is plus one psych plus three labs. Or you can put an engineer, which is not going to help us in the slightest. So we're going to do an empath. And we are going to build another garrison. We don't have, I mean, and then queue up hybrid forest. I believe we have aesthetic virtues being built, do we? Production this is another day. Complete. It's just the next day. So today is the 14th. Um, yeah, we have aesthetic virtues being built in academic rock. Which speaking of, that is our best base. I have an itchy nose for some reason. It's driving me up the wall. Request um, we can actually finish the aesthetic virtues this turn. That's a really bad idea. Um, because it's going to increase our population limits by two, and we're having population problems. So let's go ahead and build that second police unit. Um, what am I doing with these? There's no farm here. What the heck am I doing? <laughs> ah, silly me. We're at a borehole. Basically, the 
as I'd mentioned in the previous video, I think it was. I don't know. I recorded four videos at once, so or three. I recorded so many I don't remember anymore. Um, basically, the outer parts of our territory are going to be turning into. Actually, wait. I don't need to have you sleep. I can have you go to Academy Park. That would make sense. Except I just dropped another one there. Dang it, me. Yeah, my arm boil is gonna stay. You're going to connect, and we gain organic super lube. Oh, it's great stuff. Great stuff. You really have to keep an eye on it, though. It'll try and slide away from you the first chance it gets. T.M. Morgan Riley, Morgan Metagenics. Well, I know which um, thumbnail I'm going to use for this video. The game likes making organic super lube jokes. For good reason. It's silly. Um, anyway. Yeah. Uh, there's not really much to say about this. Although there's a lot of text on this. Anyway, did not mean to zoom in. Um, you need to sit for a turn. You can agitate. You can agitate. You can numb. Numb. It's been a while since I've captured a life form. I mean, admittedly, I only have plus one planet, so it's only a 10% chance. But, um. Bonk. Bot recovered. Agitate some more. Indigenous life forms. Need to rest. Road. Numb. Ooh, nearly lost. Alright, we're going after loaves and fishes, apparently. See? Now it only takes one movement to go through fungus. We still have the chance of spawning native life forms Fun even complete. in sea fungus, but, you know... Um, also, we now have the most territory and the most wealth. The most wealth is hardly surprising. We have lots of money right now. Uh, Yang is still beating us in military, which is starting to become a little bit of a concern because we're starting to encroach on his territory. Slash, he's encroaching on our territory. Take your pick. Um... Request confirmation. I'm actually going to insert in a unit into here. Mindworm is probably not the worst idea. I'd prefer a rover of some variety. Now that we actually have better movement. Um, let's go design one. That. There we go. Um, oh, right. We have fusion lasers now. So we can actually upgrade our things. I'm just going to build this as a chaos speeder for the time being. And we want this to be clean. Clean Chaos Speeder. There we go. I mean, that takes the same number of turns as a Mindworm, which is ridiculous. A lot of forest expansion this turn. Um, I guess we're going to start going with Retroviral Engineering. I mean, we do need to do advanced subatomic theory at some point, but I'm hoping to be able to trade for it. thats You'll notice that the way I tend to grab tech in this is that I tend to go toward the higher numbers and then trade for the lower numbers. Um, this bit me in the posterior when it came to the Thinkers mod, where they decided to change the prices of tech based off of the tier of research it is, which on its face is a good idea. It should probably cost me more to research retroviral engineering than advanced subatomic theory. It would have been nice if I would have known about it, though, for a mod that was only supposed to affect AIs. Anyway. Drone riots have ended. Okay, you're going to wait for a moment. 
Uh, alien artifact is going to sit. Then we are going to activate the transport, and we are bringing the transport. Uh, lab three is the closest place with. Yeah, we'll drop off at lab three. Yeah, you know, well, that's good enough to close drop off. Terraform complete. Hold. Uh, honestly, I should probably be exploring here as well. Request confirmation. Yes, I'm paying full price. Um, the other one to explore was here. Request confirmation. Invalid terraform command. Right. Can't bore hole in fungus me. Not yet, at least. Life forms. Um. Indigenous life forms. Um, ooh, nearly lost that. That would have been obnoxious. Um, agitate. Indigenous life forms. Ooh. Why am Indigenous I losing this so life much? Forms. Just have really crappy luck, right? Yeah. Nutrient resources. Nutrient resources, okay. Right. That area is linked around. Oh, I should have moved on to the fungus. I keep forgetting I have that now. Um, you need even more food. The graphic lab. We're going to auto. We're going to add more food. You're going to agitate. You're going to move closer to consecrated waters. You're going to sob profusely, I think. Sure. Indigenous life form. Ooh, thank you. I can use the Nile of the Deep. They're going to sleep. Indigenous life forms. More than they have life forms. Whatever. Action eradicated. Oh, Morgan's gone. So this is going to be interesting because I normally never get a chance to do something like this. You can actually rescue factions that have been eradicated. That's assuming that they were eradicated by the hive. I don't know if they have or not because of the sunspots. Um, if they've been eradicated by the Hive, you can actually, as a probe team, go in and rescue them, and they will pledge their undying gratitude. Production complete. Which I'm probably going to try to do, because why not? But if they got eradicated by a Mindworm, which is possible given their previous situation, I don't know. Um, right, you are coastal. Just switch to tanks. And this is going to be replaced with a network node. Also, you need Production to complete. Support from here. Support from here. There we go. That'll free up a little bit of minerals over here. Jeez. What in the world is the... 
How much am I actually losing in energy over this area? I know this is the opposite side of the world from me, but this is ridiculous. I don't know if you notice. Um, I'll point it out for the best one that I can find. Yeah, the best one actually is Children of God. Um, I'm producing five energy and losing four of it to inefficiency. So my efficiency rating is effectively 20% or potentially less. It's rounding to 20%, which is absurd. Mine. I did not mean to do that. Yeah. Okay. First off, you need to move out. You're going to stay put. You're going to move out. I'm probably going to lose a alien artifact, which sucks. I should have been paying more attention. Um. Indigenous life form. Nom. Um, yeah, I'm not really seeing much of a need for my formers over here anymore. I should probably drop them off elsewhere. So I am going to move you to New Azramis. Terraform complete. All right. Does this actually help our police situation? No, not really. Crap. We do need the increased police rating, so let's go ahead and hurry this. Request um, currently it's 700. 700 minus uh, 116 is 6584. There we go. All right, you can finally stop building those constantly. We're going to have you change over to Hybrid Forest. All right, I have one ship that's already heading down that way. Here? That spot has two nutrient resources on it. Kind of crappy terrain, but given that I forest everything anyway, crappy terrain doesn't really matter. Um, I can build over on this landmass. That might not be a bad idea. Over here looks delicious, other than lack of special resources. Um, where is the closest to university base? Honestly, here is actually closer, but I really don't want to share a landmass with somebody. Oh, you actually did end up building an extra spot. Good. That will probably be the spot that you survive on. Um, we're going to build over here, I think. Although, this spot actually has access to three different resources. And are you rocky? You're rocky. Of course you are. That would make too much sense. Um, we're just going to build over here somewhere. Uh, yeah, we're going to build over here. Going to lab three. Link. The substructure of the universe uh, regresses infinitely toward smaller and smaller components. Behind atoms we find electrons, and behind electrons quarks. Each layer unraveled reveals new secrets, but also new mysteries. Academician Prokhor Zaharov, for I have tasted, tasted the fruit. fruit. Also, why he can't blink. 
sorry, that's a joke in the um the books in the game which are thumbnails. So um this gives us Com Jammer, which is defense against faster units, or increased defense against faster units, uh, along with applied relatively and relativity and silk steel alloys that we can research. Silk steel will be our first defense upgrade in a very long time. If you can't tell, our attack is significantly better than our defense, and that stays that way for the entire game. Basically, it's only the starting part of the game where you might have relative parity between defense and attack. This is to our advantage, because really nobody's going to bother attacking us for the entire game. Why would they? That would require them to not suck. Uh, rolling rainy. Okay. Bot recovered. Nice. Three tanks. I'm gonna sleep. You're going to link up. I saw the alien phalanx coming toward us, and I calmed my mind as Krilan had taught me. And what I saw next to the phalanx was a shadow regiment, half formed from the resonance around them. I cursed the aliens. With power like that, each one could fight as many. And I thanked Planet for sending us the Betrayer. Prophet Cha Dawn, the Betrayer and I. So I'm pretty sure what this is trying to indicate is that of the Progenitor race, which are the um, aliens that have been invaded Planet that aren't us, um, there was somebody that decided to get turn traitor and join the um, Planet Cult, which is what Prophet Cha Dawn is the leader of. Problem is, um, there's not really much information about the Alien Crossfire stuff. There was one um, novelette, and I think that was it. But we got another tech that I didn't particularly want. Not the greatest. You need to sleep. Alright, you need to start working on getting down. Oh, I, damn it, I keep forgetting that Fungus is oh, road for me. Hmm. I don't mind Current having a river. Complete. And also, do I have a better military now? Yep. I love how these graphs are still accurate even during sunspots, but nothing else is. Project complete. But it's time for the aesthetic virtues. Learn to overcome the crass demands of flesh and bone, for they warp the matrix through which we perceive the world. Extend your awareness outward, beyond the self of body, to embrace the self of group and the self of humanity. The goals of the group and the greater race are transcendent, and to embrace them is to achieve enlightenment. Chairman Shen Jiang, SS on Mind and Matter. So that last image that was there is actually what the mini preview of Yang's territory looks like. So um, I'll show you in a moment. But one of the abilities that Yang gets is a perimeter defense in all of their bases. It's not really that they have a perimeter defense so much as their bases are underground. So it looks like desert above because they're that obsessed with trying to defend themselves. Anyway, so this will increase our population limit by two, which is not going to be helpful right now. Um, but more importantly, we get plus one police. So we're going to start having a second garrison in each of our cities just to act as another police officer. Which, speaking of, we're just going to add right now to our queue here. Clean infantry. And then hybrid forest. Just throw those on as well. Production complete. Which means Kagrim Memorial is still not doing great. That's weird. You have two police units. Why are you having problems with... Police is plus one. You can use up to two military units as police. 
Is there a glitch with the police uh, non-lethal methods where one unit will count as two, except it counts as that counts as two for every purpose, which would make it useless? It's possible. Um, that would be annoying if that's the case. So there's not much we can do about that. complete. Indigenous life form. Also, we can get out of all economy at this point. We've been in all economy for a while now. We need to stop that nonsense. Um, you can just automate at this point. Rest. Indigenous life form. Four hole. This should actually be that one. There we go. Indigenous life form. Um. nothing for a long time. You need to sleep. You're moving. Indigenous life You're numbing. Six to six. Uh, is that viable for us? Yes, it is. Sweet. Indigenous life form. That unit's going to be stuck there for a long time. You need to rest for a turn. But recovered. Money. Indigenous life forms. Nom. Repair and upgrade, always handy. But recovered. Xenofungal bloom. Sweet. So we're at the point of the game where xenofungal blooms mean and when we're exploring basically mean, hey look, I have more area to move around, since fungus are roads for us. Oh, this isn't going to end well. Nope, that sucked. Damn it. Means I'm going to need another rover there. Piece of crap. Request confirmation. Really hoping I'd be able to take that on, but apparently not. Unit max required ability. You're going to sleep. You're going to drop there. One, two, three, four, mine. Coastal. Hopefully we're almost done with our sunspots, because I haven't been keeping track of how many turns. It's always 20 turns, for reference. Uh, you can sleep now, though. And let's be honest, you can probably just Turn sit there. Complete. Oh, that's a transport unit. We should move you over to there. Turn complete. More forests and kelp expansion. And because we have the human genome project, we don't even care if we have hospitals or anything like that. Prometheus virus does nothing for us. Peacekeepers certainly pissed off a stack. Action complete. Mmm. That's really bad. Get off of my land, Yang. Um, let's see. Those units are just garrison. But I'm going to upgrade you just in case. Um Yep. Terraform complete. Okay, 
Academic Rock did have that work properly. Maybe it needed to be end of turn. Okay, yeah, it needed to be end of turn. Okay, that makes things a lot better. Okay. So the police ability is working. That's good. Withdrawal? I have does not appear to be withdrawing. I don't know if I'm at war with the hive or not, because that's the problem with sunspots, is that they can just go, mm, we decided we're at war with you and didn't tell you. It's a really nasty ability, if I do say so no, myself. Oh, that's a slope? Yeah, I guess that's a valley. It's going downhill there. Oh well. Um, just wrote it. You're going to upgrade to a drop former. Because I'm going to try to drop you over onto that little landmass. To finally build some forests. Um, what do I want to do with you? I mean, I can keep foresting. It's not gonna hurt. Indigenous life form. No. Terraform complete. You're gonna sleep. You're gonna rest. You're gonna rest. You're gonna agitate. Indigenous life forms. You're gonna die, apparently, you know. As you do. You're gonna sleep. Alright, you're gonna start picking up more. Damn it, I have to keep doing that. Bot recovered. Bot. Nice. Indigenous Bot. life forms. Uh, we're gonna move back. The reason why we're moving back is that, unlike native units, we actually do suffer an attack penalty. Um, when we only have part of a movement remaining. That is an ability of native units to not have to worry about that. Indigenous life forms. Um. I think you're just going to set tight. Turn complete. Um, bumper crops. Extra food. Always helpful. Really? You see in this dome the intermingling of native and earth plants. Outside, they are competitors struggling over the trace elements required for life. Often, one destroys the other. Here they are attended with care and kept well nourished. They thrive together, and the native fungus does not unleash its terrible defenses. As you can see, competition is unnecessary when resources are plentiful, and population growth is controlled. Lady Deirdre Sky, Planet Dreams. So, I just realized I've been sitting up really tall. Apologies. Um, long story short, because of hybrid forests. One moment, I have notifications. Uh, do, do, do. I don't have to care about any of these right now, which is good. Okay, Um, long story short. Hey, look, if you provide things with enough abundant resources, you don't need to compete. You can just cooperate, and that's apparently what Planet is doing. It's almost as though the fungus is intelligent. Drone riots. <sighs> Unfortunately, we're going to be dealing with a lot of drone riots. Luckily, we have the ability to build a second police unit. And... We're going to be doing that as well. Oops. 
Well, I don't know, but I've been told. I don't know, but I've been told. Jesus got a network no. Jesus got a network no. Black to press the on a switch. Black to press the on a switch. Change that crazy guy on which. Change that crazy guy on which. Fucking Barrett Mark. Yes, sir. I may know that quote very well. Um, we didn't get to hear the quote from Network Node before. This is the first time we've actually built one since we start with a Network Node in every one of our bases. Um, I actually don't want you with Superformers. I want you with C. And in fact, we're going to replace the other one with C as well. Each individual pipe contains a hot slurry of minerals drawn from planet's crust and it makes a sound like rain falling on a tin roof. When they converge at the trunk line, the sound becomes a terrifying thunder, a thunder of untold wealth and power. Captain Ulrich Svensgard, tending the sea. Yep, so that is the leader of the Nautilus Pirates. I think his quote is for all of the sea bases, because I don't think he has any quotes for technology anyway we finally built our first subsea trunk line so this base doesn't suck anymore so that's nice production complete um... terraform complete I'm probably going to code Tell Yang to go shove it once we have the ability to talk again. But we need, we need to have the ability to talk again first. So, see, that's the problem, is that we have a truce with Yang. So, technically, we can't tell him to go shove it as much as I want to. You're going to bore me with that. Now that we have hybrid forests, we can start boreholing with impunity. Not that I wasn't already, but, you know. Indigenous life form. Oh, no. We're gonna road. We're gonna sleep. You're gonna... Forest, I guess. You're going to drop... Over to here. Bot recovered. Nice. Bot recovered. And another network node. Or ne alien artifact. I keep trying to call them network nodes. That's not the way this works. I think I have enough to take that thing out. Yes, good. Let's make sure that there's no... Yeah, there doesn't appear to be any believers sitting in the jungles or the forest areas, which is good. Uh, you're going to drop onto land. Complete. Please finish the stupid sunspots already. Drone the academician's private residences shall remain off-limits to the genetic inspectors. We possess no retroviral capability, we are not researching retroviral engineering, and we shall not allow this council to violate faction privileges in the name of this ridiculous witch hunt. Bedor Petrov, Vice Provost for University Affairs. So, yeah. Um, remember what I had said before, that canonically, whichever faction has the quote is the one that researched the tech first. Told you. Every faction, every one of them, have downsides. All of them are good, and all of them are evil. Anyway, um, retroviral engineering is basically you're engineering viruses, retroviruses specifically, to do genetic engineering. Um, while, yeah, there's some nice points to this, the Gene Jack factory is definitely not one of them. 
And when we inevitably build one, which we're not building one anytime soon, we have drone problems at the wazoo as it is, um, you're going to get a very creepy quote from Yang. Also, this gives us the ability to just commit a genetic warfare atrocity with probe teams. We can just go in with a probe team and have somebody's population. Cool. All right, Centauri genetics is what we're doing. Uh, don't get me wrong, I would really love to have monopole magnets, but locusts of Chiron are the last step to our um, swarm strategy, because locusts of Chiron are awesome. Production complete. More hybrid forests, which is good. We are going to build you a second police. That rooster is going to drive me up the wall. So yeah, let's, let me hit the help on the Gene Jack factory. Increases minerals output by the base by 50%, but also increases the number of drones at base by one and increases the vulnerability to alien mind control or enemy mind control. So it's a cheap way of increasing your productivity, but it increases your drones. And we, again, we already have some drone problems. That just makes it so much worse. So much worse. So we're not going to worry about that for right now. We will eventually start building them. Also, we're not too far off of our clean minerals limit, so increasing our minerals by 50% might not be the greatest Production of ideas. Complete. Told you. Lots of drone riots. Oh, and of course, next turn is when you build the stupid wreck commons. Request confirmation. <sighs> Production complete. Okay, you do actually still need the thing. It's next turn that you won't need it. Okay. So I can make you into a thinker. And you don't need it here anymore? Right. Okay. Um, Rolling in rainy. Hmm. And there's a river there, too. Still gonna forest it. Terraform. Oh, now I can capture the mind worm, of course. <sighs> staying there. Do not trust them. Um, since you are not independent, I don't want you going that way. You are independent, so I have no problems with you being on land. Oops. You are going to sleep until healed, because one of the things that the Xenopathy Dome does is actually allow us to heal in fungus. I don't think it actually tells you that now that I'm saying that. Pod recovered. Sonar pods are Pod useless. Recovered. Another network or alien artifact. Damn it, I did it again. Uh -huh. Indigenous life form. Indigenous life that rooster's gonna drive me up the wall. Really hope you all can't hear it. Forest. Alien artifact, go ahead and link. I loved my chosen. Oh, how then to face the day when she left me? So I took from her body a single cell, perhaps to love her again. Commissioner Previn Lal, Time of Bereavement. So this is something that came up in the novelettes for Alpha Centauri. But when the incident happened on the UNS Unity and um, Captain Garland was assassinated, by the way, he wasn't assassinated. Um... Technically, he was, but he actually gave up his life 
to save the rest of the unity. Anyway, um, Lal basically ran, and he had his wife, his chosen, his beloved, with him as he ran. He basically flung her over his shoulders and ran. And that's when she was repeatedly shot. She was shot over and over and over again, and her body protected Lal from death. Um, basically taking all the bullet wounds herself. So Lal had a very traumatic experience, to put it mildly. At the same time, he's really freaking creepy when it comes to this. Uh, but cloning vats, on the other hand, is something that we are absolutely going to be building. Absolutely no question about it. It is an essential part of playing Alpha Centauri. If another faction ends up with the cloning vats, you're probably doing a bad job in the game. Uh, cloning vats, what they do is effectively give you a population boom in every one of your bases. So, permanent state of population boom is as long as you have enough food, it grows in population that turn. Always. Every turn. Forever. Once you hit hab limits, it's a different story. So at 7, normally, and in our case, 9, because we have something increasing hab limits at the moment. At 9 population, and at, I believe it would be 17 or 19 population, it'll stop. Also, it drops the neg and removes the negative effects of both power and thought control, not that we have thought control yet, entirely. So we could just take power and not take any negatives from it, which is pretty darn decent. Cloning vats is one of those ridiculously powerful things. You can start moving. We might as well go toward Eternal Reward. Hopefully we'll be out of Sunspots Turn by then, complete. and she'll just surrender. Because I really don't want to fight them. Production complete. What the hell are you doing? I am not letting you pillage anything, damn it. Why are you doing that? You're concerning me that you're going to try to build in my territory. I might need to go to war with Deidre. Which is a shame, because I'm usually a, very peaceful with Deidre. Um, yes, you're going to raise that terrain a little bit. You're going to borehole. You're going to forest. Terraform complete. You're going to agitate. You're gonna upgrade the farms you're holding. Complete. Also, that means that you no longer need that. There we go. You can actually go back to what you were doing. Yeah, you actually, I don't want that unit. Uh, actually, I probably should have kept it now that I think about it. Oh, well. Too late now. Okay. You do have Hab, right? Yeah, okay. Um, speaking of... Ooh, our best base is now university base for minerals. About dang time. Maybe we will actually build something in our capital for once. Like, say, cloning vats. Initiated. Yeah, let's just queue up cloning vats now. So we're definitely going to want cloning vats. Um, subsea trunk line won't actually do a whole bunch for us. That Honestly, we shouldn't even bother building it. Um, so it'll only increase minerals in the two mines that we have. Two sea mines that we have. So it's plus two minerals per turn and how much does it cost to build 120 so it would be 60 turns to break even it's not worth it on the other hand energy is a different story and also i think the thermocline transducer is cheap anyway very yellow I have 
moth in here. Alright, um, forest. Indigenous life of course. Indigenous life forms. No. Ranged nom. Okay. Where exactly do I want the base over here? Honestly, right there is probably halfway decent. So we're just going to drop off one colony pod there. Um, the next one I would like over here. Oh, they're actually going to overlap if I do that. Not that big of a deal. They're only overlapping two tiles. Um... And third one, I want to be able to take advantage of a couple of boreholes, so I'm going to go, like, here. Mineral resources. Mineral resources, nice. Um... Ugh. Trying to deal with AI terraforming is never fun. They're just really bad at their job. Turn complete. I'm 26. Production the boundary complete. between cold water and warm, the thermocline, has been important to undersea warfare for hundreds of years of man's history. Now we have found a way to harness that power for constructive purposes. What once cloaked us can now feed us. What once shielded us from death now brings us life. Captain Ulrich Svensgaard, the ripple and the wave. All right. Um, yeah, just continue. Production complete. Hybrid forest. Okay. Huh. Actually, that spot's almost worse than the forests now. Um, you are going to need that. From there, we shall queue up some more research buildings that we've been kind of lacking in. That'll do for now. Production complete. You finally built your rec commons. Whoops. Um, tab. Hybrid. Biolab. Aqua farm. Production okay. complete. Okay, this is actually something that we should queue up properly. So, we're going to have aqua. Farm. Actually, wait, hold on. Here, we should aqua farm first. Then hab. Then trunk line. Then transducer. Then we can start picking these up. Actually, we'll. Oh. We already did hab derp. We're gonna do hab there. And just for fun, we're gonna throw in a sky hydro lab and also a colony pod. Um colony pod I want at that point. Now we're going to save this as C2. There we go. Production complete. C2. Terraform complete. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to hold. Why not? Agitate some Indigenous more. Nom. Mod recovered. We now have three alien artifacts. Um, perhaps we should start looking into approaching let's see, Cosmograd and Lab 3 is about to get another alien artifact, isn't it?
Yeah, Lab 3 has an alien artifact on its way. Thought it did, but I don't see one. Um, We should still start going closer to where we actually have bases. Pod recovered. It's on our pod. Figures. Indigenous life form. Um, nearly lost. Again. Indigenous life form. Indigenous life form. Okay, we are actually making money still, just not by a whole bunch. Um, I would actually like to send this boat up to... Where is that spot that we have three? It's over there. Ooh, that's actually much further away than I thought. Um, let's send you over to here. So we can actually deal with those goobers. Forest. Road. Ah. Remove fungus again. Out of curiosity. Can theoretically win. Let's try it. I won, yay. And it's now elite. I'm elite, you're not. We're almost at an hour, so next turn will be the last turn. Hopefully we'll get out of the sunspots already. That would be really nice. Oh, you should have definitely had two, uh, one of each, oh well. Forest, piece of garbage. Second one is there. Third one. Where do I want the third one of these at? Maybe down here. Although here would be ideal. Not being able to make a bridge, but we're just going to go down here. You know what? Just drop off there. I can move it. It'll be fine. We should probably start building more colonies. Colony pods, that is. They're going to load land one. Um, I'm also going to start introducing additional colony pods into land one. For these, at least. Oh. I don't have a tree farm in land one. What the heck am I doing? And have... No, I don't want have in tier one. I want have in tier two. So, that's probably decent for tier no that's right i want a second at least there we go that makes sense turn complete all right we have finished sunspot so we can at least talk to people this turn production complete yeah i'm sure a lot of people have a lot of things to say hello lol mm, sakharov the brilliant ah uh, i am really tempted to say yes but they're my friends okay that's a conventional missile it's like you have an 18 attack power unit what the hell it's just a missile missile we could theoretically build a missile they're just not currently our prototype um no i'm not going to give you a tech for free i would like your research data you don't have any that i don't have that's not too surprising Production complete. All right. Um, Miriam. I'll see you in hell. There we go. I surrender, mighty Provo Sakura, for my defeat is abject and total. If you will but have mercy upon me, I will give you all of my energy credits and share all of my research data. I shall never trouble you again. So, this is a complete surrender, which I'm going to accept. Um... You'll notice that her status now says submissive. 
instead of anything else. So this is permanent-ish. There is actually a glitch that can cause them to not... Uh, to be able to attack you. But normally what it is is that if they surrender to you, as long as you don't attack them, they will never attack you. They will always follow what you do. They will always be willing to give you bases, even. Um, effectively, Miriam is no longer anything we have to care about, which is good, because otherwise I would have wiped her out next turn. I prefer doing it this way, just because I don't particularly want to build in that area. So that's nice. Um, the one exception that I had happened to me, it's also the first time I had ever gotten planet bustered by an AI. So an AI will attack a unit, an enemy unit, if it sees it. So like, say for instance, there's an enemy scout patrol sitting, um, let's go through this first. So let's say there's an enemy scout patrol sitting here. An AI, if it has the ability to attack it, goes, oh, there's an enemy, I'm going to attack it. The problem is that it will use whatever unit's available. If that unit happens to be a planet buster, it will attack that enemy unit. Because it attacked an enemy unit and not you, it sees it as perfectly valid. However, a planet buster's area of effect is many tiles wide, so it wiped out one of my cities for them attacking a random unit. And because they used a planet buster on a city, that means there's an automatic war declaration. <laughs> They actually wiped out their own units, too, and if I remember right, they might have even hit one of their own cities with a Planet Buster. So, that was a weird situation. It's the only time I've had that happen. Um, actually, I do want to talk to Miriam. So, Miriam will never insult us again. Even though we're running democracy, it does not matter. Um, it doesn't look like she actually has any... Um... I'm probably going to be giving her back bases, by the way, because I don't really want these bases. Uh, how about some money? You can get 100 money. So her only base is the one right here, Eternal Reward. And it's not a good base. It's not terrible, but it's not good. Um, so what do I want to keep from her? I mean, her bases are all kind of garbage to me. I'm half tempted to... I almost think I want to give her back her starting island. This is what I'm going to have to decide between um, this video and next video, basically. Of I don't know what I want to give back to her. But let's continue talking to people, because we need to figure out what the hell Yang is doing. No. No. Get out of my territory. Yep, that's what I thought was going to happen. All right. Oh, no, that did not work out. Ooh, we almost lost that. That would have been really bad. I didn't realize they had Pulse 3 armor, and were I didn't realize they were um, fusion units. Okay, we at least got him out of my damn territory, but that's concerning. Because we actually have bases not very far from him anymore. So, you're going to hurry. Request confirmation. Terraform complete. Hat. I must have accidentally chose the wrong formers, or the blueprints messed up. That's entirely possible. Um. Oh well, we can use the former there. It'll be fine. Uh, we're going to smooth that over because I want fields of green. There's no real reason for it. I just want it. Indigenous life forms. 
You're gonna sleep there. Agitate a little bit. Build a base. Oh, you're actually gonna load Coastal 1. It should be one of each. Why are you doing one than the other? I don't know. Also, why do you have three formers sitting in there? That makes even less sense. Uh, I don't know. And you should not have Hab. I prefer having Hab be the first thing in the next set of stuff. So let's go ahead and save this as Coastal 1. That'll work. Bot recovered. <laughs> Indigenous That's worse. Forms. Hopefully that lives. Otherwise, that would be sad. Indigenous let's agitate some more. Indigenous life Even forms. more. Bonk. 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 You need to sleep. Uh, road. You are full of fun artifacts. Bot recovered. Bot recovered. Even more. That works for me. Okay. Indigenous life forms. I'm just trying to scout out the unity wreckage. Come on. Covered. In oh, that's life nice. Forms. Build. Yeah, I'm gonna have a lot of overlapping territory over here, but that's fine. It will be fine. Bot recovered. Why not? Can I actually take that on? Looks like I probably can. Yep. Yay. Even more money. Turn complete. All right. Let's finish off talks with, say, Deidre. No, I'm not giving you fusion. Do you have anything that I would like? No? Uh, would you like a Pact of Brotherhood? Huh. You're willing to Pact if I give you fusion. Oh. Honestly, I think that might be worth it. Just so I have another friend over here. And I don't have to worry about being attacked. I mean, I can easily take on Deidre, especially if I don't give her fusion. I'm actually going to say no for the time being. And we're going to end this here. Um, I'm going to think about whether I want to make any deals with um, which bases to give the believers. And I'll talk to you next time. Bye, Internet.